Lion House, for heaven's sake, 100. Hot ass day. Spring. Wonder how New York feel right now. We getting it in out here. We fucking we going to the beach. Actually, it's spring, so you know, everybody should be feeling right right now, ain't it? People get married a lot in spring and shit. But yeah, man. Tuning into this hip hop shit, man. It's a different grind. Now, you gotta let people in your life and shit. You gotta let people know what's going on every day. I don't know, it takes me some time to get used to letting y'all <clears throat> all up in my shit like that. I let y'all know me as an artist, but damn, when I see how these artists get on, they show y'all everything in this shit. It's like they don't stop nothing. Nah, buddy. I ain't showing y'all everything. Y'all could get in a little bit, though. For having sake, 100, let y'all get a little close. This channel right here, I'm going to try to upload all of the stuff that uh, that I want y'all to hear me say. As far as uh, the shit that you need to know. Like, I don't get on fucking Twitter and I don't be like, you know, I don't, I don't be like, oh, I just got something to eat. I don't give y'all step-by-step -step coverage, but I will give y'all updates and shit. Y'all ain't get no step-by-step -step coverage, though. Fuck that. This shit that I do, I don't, you know. And then another thing, smoking on camera. I know they're more lenient on weed and shit nowadays, but I still ain't got over that smoking on camera shit. I try not to do that shit. I don't like that shit. Because now you know, it's like a cliche with rappers. Every rapper got to smoke. I know plenty of rappers that don't smoke. And plus my not Rasta, you know? So I know plenty of Rastas that don't smoke. So it's a stereotype thing I'm trying to kill more so. You know what I mean? But yes... 52 subscribers I'm trying to get that number up I got some numbers I'm trying to get up man y'all know what time it is man share a nigga shit another thing going on in Florida in Florida we don't have that we don't have that uh, brotherly love man you got a lot of people out here oh that nigga nice fuck that nigga <laughs> what yo that nigga spitting fuck that nigga what what kind of shit is that and that's why we ain't got no brotherly love. Like Atlanta, Atlanta got that vibe. I look and I say, damn, the biggest artist, you got three or four major big artists that came out out of here. Like you got Flo Rida, you got Pitbull, you got Ross, you got Trick Daddy. Those are the notable big names that came out. Other than that, what you got? Mm -hmm. That's why. Dealing with dealing with the game from down here, you can't. It's like brothers don't want to help each other because there's a lot of talent down here. Even though <clears throat> you may not hear it all, there's a lot of talent down here, man. And you, you know, you got payola going on. You got people that ain't gonna let records get spent unless. And all of that goes on everywhere, but it's just still it has to be going on more here because brothers ain't helping nobody. Like I've heard it my own ears. Like yo, he's dope. Fuck that nigga. Like whoa. Niggas look at it as a weakness to get a man props, and that's bullshit. You know. Yeah. I know I said I stay away from smoking on camera, but if I need to smoke, yeah. And this shit on, <laughs> I'm gonna duck off to the side. Y'all don't say shit. I don't trust this internet shit, man. I'm an 80s baby, man. I don't know all these new, these new dudes. They trust this internet shit for real, man. It's probably one of the reasons why I ain't doing all that vlogging, but you know, things gonna change. I'm gonna get it popping. Certain things gotta change up. Shout out to PJ Pressure too, man. Got some new production popping off, man. Some real, real, real serious production. A couple things I wanted to speak about, man. I can't even fucking can't even really remember right now. But one of the main things is what I was speaking on before. <clears throat> brotherly love down here ain't no fucking brotherly love not like ATL and the rest of these places and then bitches trying to trying to like you you got friends with you <clears throat> that's in the rap game with you that, that's trying to get in and you can't take these niggas certain places niggas that you cannot take certain places you can't take these dudes anywhere that's exactly that's exactly what I'm talking about that type of shit right there where you can't take somebody somewhere that's gonna you gotta know which one of your friends is that guy that's another thing 
Because if you do, like, you you know, you take a dude somewhere and he's the aggressor and y'all need to be humble. Because there's a lot of different situations in the game now because back in the day, there was a certain set of guys that was probably holding the power as far as certain record labels. It's not the 90s no more, man. This game then became, they manufacture rappers and put them out. They spit them out. They, they, they just create them. Like, there's an assembly line. <laughs> like in Eminem's video. I'm Jim Slady, this, I'm the real shady. Yeah, like, where they're just coming out. You know what I'm saying? They just hit, give him his beats, give him his press kit, and give him his fitted hat, and throw his ass on stage with a mic. And he's like, Mike Checker 1 2, and he's off to the races. Doesn't even matter if the song's dope. It don't matter. None of that matters no more. But it does matter when it comes to. The I guess the diehard fans they care about that shit. Real hip hop fans they care about that shit. They care about whether or not it's gonna you know really pop off. So that's how, that's how that goes. Ain't trying to get hit by no whip while I'm walking. But yeah, man, like the industry is it's, it's changed, and a lot of times brothers don't speak on that shit. A lot of times brothers don't get to to, to, to say they mind like yo, this is what it is. This is what happens. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they don't, they don't let you know the inside. Like I was watching backstage the other day, and um, I realized Beanie Siegel was like, "Yo, there's a big ass box where they put y'all niggas tapes in, and they throw them shits in there, and they don't listen to them shits. They throw them shits away." And that was like early in the game. That's 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 when Beans was hot fire. That was actually, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Now. It could be, imagine it could be worse now. You got niggas selling your dreams online. Hey, I'll, I'll give you this 100 something for giving you a, a 20 something spins, or I'll post you on 100 websites for $100 or some shit like that. Next thing you know, you're not even thinking, you're just jumping at the dream, but you're not thinking how you gonna make sure them niggas is posting that shit on the websites, nigga. You gonna go to 100 websites? Why are you paying them to do work you're gonna have to do for yourself? The game has changed, kid. Like, as much as it empowered the independent artists, it, it's like a it's like a gift and a curse. It's like it empowered us, but in a lot of ways it, it crippled you if you don't know how to use it. If you if you one of those dudes that jump before you think. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm gonna try to get on, man. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna try to do this, and the next thing you know. It, may, it takes it, it can happen in many different ways, man. It can happen through the music. Somebody take a record and rewrite it, somebody take a production and remake it. I mean, back in the day they used to have etiquette, like niggas got writers now and shit, man. They got writers. People that's writing what, what they think, they think you think. <laughs> they can write what, you, what they think you think. What the fuck? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I don't think if a... I don't think if a ghost... I don't think a ghost writer... I don't think a ghost writer really is going to be able to write what, I, what I'm thinking. Unless you, <laughs> unless you really just got some telepathy type shit going on. But then again, that Drake shit is what really opened up the conversation for ghost riders again but what niggas is forgetting my brothers what you are forgetting as artists is that drake he possesses that what i think bryson tiller com completed perfected like he completely perfected what drake was trying to do although drake is doing it he completely perfected that shit he got that shit to where you know they can sing and they can rhyme so it's hard to be like yo this nigga belongs to that genre. This song belongs to that genre. A lot of the times, they have different. They have like two, three different genres on one record. Now, I ain't heard his new album. From what I do here, it's a lot of singing going on on that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just don't call it a hip hop record. Just don't call it a hip hop album. Just because he's a hip hop artist. Queen Latifah did a jazz album. They didn't call that shit hip hop. You know. So, I just think it's about calling things what they are, pointing them out because. That's why writers are okay to him because, you know, R&B artists have writers all the time. R&B artists do their thing all the time. So, you know, shout out to Casa Fire too, man. I'm going to call in later and try to drop a verse on y'all, man. I appreciate the love. I appreciate you reaching out to a nigga, man. Get on the YouTube page. Give me some subscribers, man. Promote the YouTube page. You know how it is, man. Uh, yeah, 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 man. A lot of shit going on. Shit is not what it used to be. Can't have a nigga writing my lyrics. I'll be damned.
I'll be damned if a nigga write my shit. You know what I'm saying? When niggas write lyrics, they do, they're supposed to write what they think it in their mind, they self, you know what I'm saying? Maybe with R&B artists, it's a little different. But when we write, we write what's in your mind. You ain't supposed to write what you think another person want to hear. That's not popping. That's not, that's not what it is, you know what I'm saying? But you already know, I'm going to get better at these things, man. Take a walk with y'all and just talk with y'all, you know what I'm saying? The walk with Hev. Who knows what the fuck I'm going to call the video, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't see or don't get to see me on a regular looking at, look, you know, talking about this music shit. I just be trying to get people to listen to shit and posting shit online, you know what I'm saying? So throughout time, y'all get at me. Y'all stay on the page. Hit the comment box. Let a brother know what time it is, man. Everybody, everybody that's a nigga friend, all that, get on the page, man. Holla at me, let me know what time it is. Independent artists need support too, you know what I'm saying? Support good music. If you vibe the music, support it. Don't be on Facebook liking shit and not sharing shit too. I see that with a lot of these. That's another thing back to the independent artists. You know, I'm going to have a segment just about that type of shit. Where bitches like your shit, but they won't share it. If you like it, pass it on. Even if it's, you know, only thing you don't want to pass on is like them fights. They be talking like, like them fights with kids and shit in high school and shit. You don't want to share them shits. Fuck them shits. Don't share negativity. But if it's something you honestly click the like button on, share that shit. Because you want to promote or help whoever that person is. Because on Facebook now, everybody's advertising something. Everybody everybody's advertising something or talking about something or trying to get you to get something or trying to get you to listen to something. Everybody, all the independent artists got something going on. So pass it on if you see these cats trying to push their shit, man. Especially if you know them. Because on Facebook, you're in control of who you know. So if you know these cats, go ahead, man. But yeah, man, get in the comment box. It's hot as hell out here. I'm about to go back in the Lion House. Um, with Favis Sake 100. Look look for Loud Pack Lion. I just set up the Instagram. You know, Loud Pack Lion. Holla at me. Let me know what time it is. Got the new uh, Return of the Backpacker. That's the mixtape, man. Return of the Backpack is coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaked in a couple of records. The first record out is Focus. For Heaven's Sake 100. Just dropped the video. Um, I lost 200 fucking views on that goddamn video, too. I had to upload it, man. I started the campaign early, man. A whole bunch of shit. See, the game's not... The game ain't... It ain't, it ain't all what you... It was cracked up to be. But, uh, yeah, man. Hit the comment box. Let a brother know what time it is, man. For heaven's sake, 100. Conference team. We in the building. Lion House. Loud Pack Lion. Scumbag Worldwide. Battle Royale. You already know what time it is, man. Bless up.